Riot ignoring the state of ranked play isn't entirely a new thing. In OS, we had a win trader pay for 25 wins in a row to get rank 1 two seasons in a row and nothing was done about it, but what I'm about to show you takes it to another level. Sent to me by a viewer, he shares that on his server, which is a new Vietnamese server, their flex ladder is completely wrecked. Before we observe that there are two 3000 plus LP players, have a look at everyone else in the top 10. The only player with a somewhat normal win loss is the 10th rank with 148 wins and 79 losses, which is still an absurd ratio compared to solo queue. The rest of the top 10 is 100 to 200 wins positive with over 2000 LP discrepancy between rank 1 and rank 10. Now I'm not entirely sure what these players have done to get these absurd win losses, but something is definitely not right, and I know it's only flex and it's also on a minor server, but it's still a competitive queue nonetheless, and for the biggest game in the world I'd expect at least something to be done. I feel like this could be restored to competitive viability by like two rioters and an afternoon of account investigation. Although I say that, a major region high elo solo queue is still the way that it is, which is another issue in of itself. I, as well as many other high elo solo queue players, have held the opinion that there should be specific Riot teams that police high elo solo queue matches because there are a lot fewer and it's the most viewed games by the masses via content creators and streams. But nothing yet, win trading, stream sniping, inting and griefing still run rampant and players just have to wait for Riot to hopefully implement decent fixes. But I digress. What do you think of these ranked issues? Let me know in the comments below and for more league content be sure to subscribe. Bye.